Hi there everyone and welcome back to Raccoon's Radio Ranch. At the end of the video, I'm going to give you a piece of advice for buying radio equipment. In this video, I'm going to share with you 5 CB radios that you should not buy. Now, let's roll that intro. In the past, I've told you what radio equipment is good to buy, but in this video, I'm going to do something different. This time, I'm telling you what equipment you need to stay away from. A lot of people, YouTubers included, will tell you to buy this stuff, but let's be honest. There's only one place this equipment belongs, in the city dump. And when you search this equipment online, every piece of it has bad reviews. So let's get started. I'll start by saying that these radios are all bad. So this isn't a top 10 list. The first radio is the Midland 1001LWX. This radio has had reviews that say things like, this thing is getting no receive signal, or it only worked for two days, and it only transmitted at about one and a half watts. This radio usually costs about $70, and it's definitely not worth it. Once again, this is the Midland 1001 LWX. Next up, I have the Cobra 19DX4. This radio has earned reviews that say things like, This radio will not transmit or receive even at the maximum squelch. Or, This CB never worked. I was sent a replacement for it and that didn't work either. Waste of money. Do not buy. And another reviewer said, it won't even turn on. This radio usually costs about $50, but it's definitely not worth it. Once again, this is the Cobra 19DX4. Then we have the Luton LT. 298. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. This radio had reviews that said, not a real good CB, quit working within a few days. And I've seen a, quite a few complaints about missing parts for this radio, such as it did not come with the cigarette plug, and the mounting bracket was missing. This seems to be more of a case of this radio missing items rather than it being a bad performer. But based on the many reviews that I've seen about things missing, I thought it deserved to be mentioned. This radio usually costs about $50, but I don't think it's worth it if you have to go chasing your parts down. Once again, this is the Luton LT-298. Next is the Uniden Pro 505XL. This radio has so many bad reviews that I didn't know where to start. So I decided to start with it stopped working after a week of use. And then there was it won't transmit or receive further than 200 feet. I'm assuming this is the type of radio people are using when they do their GMRS versus CB radio comparison videos that we keep seeing on YouTube. Since we all know that a good working CB radio can get out further than a mile away, and this last review says the noise was so bad it's unusable. You can buy one of these radios for around $39, but I wouldn't advise it. These reviews are definitely telling you what you'll be in for if you buy one. 
Once again, this is the Uniden Pro 505 XL. Now before I go any further, I'd like to hear from you. Have you ever owned any of these radios that are in this list? And if you have, what was your experience with them? Let me know in the comment section below. Also, don't forget to click the link below to visit my store. I'm now using Teespring for our store to hopefully give you a better shopping experience. And don't forget to click my Amazon link below if you plan on shopping at Amazon. It helps the channel. And if you're looking for a CB radio for emergency purposes, remember that none of these radios in this list will be good for that. Now, let's get on to that last radio in the list. Our last radio in this list is the Uniden Pro 520XL, which is a radio that has plenty of bad reviews like the rest of them, such as, this CB simply did not work, it kept blowing fuses. And then there was, spend your money on something better. And my favorite one was, it doesn't work unless I can see the whites of the driver's eyes in the vehicles I'm trying to talk with. And this radio usually sells for around $53, but remember, it's not worth it. Once again, this is the Uniden Pro 520XL. Now before I bring this video to an end, I'd like to offer one piece of advice for buying radio equipment. There is an old saying that says, you get what you pay for. And that's generally true when it comes to any radio hobby. So the next time you see a radio or an antenna that has a cheap price, remember that it was probably cheaply built too. So just save your money and pay a little more for something that will work better for you in the long run. If you liked the video, please hit the thumbs up and like the video. And be sure to share it with all your friends and family. Click the subscribe to subscribe to the channel. And as always, thanks for watching.